In the last video, we had a chance to talk to Dirk, and um, you know, we got an idea of what he's been, uh, what he's trying to do, what he's been creating, and uh, you know, we took a look at the fair bit of his artwork. Now, after that conversation, we ended up going to Dirk's workshop, and uh, Dirk brought out a piece that he's been working on, or one of the pieces that he's been working on for the last few months, and he laid out, laid it down on his uh, workbench, and uh, we basically ended up talking about uh, the specific painting, and he, and he, you know, he explained to me how he went about creating this painting uh, from the canvas from creating the canvas putting the canvas together all the way um, you know f to laying down the grid and uh, creating his his space and you know the type of materials that he used and the type you know the paints the brush and how he went about doing the strokes all the way up to um, you know where the painting is at the moment and just by talking to him uh, over this piece, him explaining how he went about creating this painting, uh, from creating the canvas itself all the way up to, uh, you know, where the painting is right now, how it appears right now, uh, it becomes quite clear that he uses a lot of mathematics in his work. It might not be the mathematics that we're thinking about, you know, when we're learning at school where someone gives you a formula and you do your thing, or, uh, you know, just sitting down on a piece of paper or something uh, abstract that you're working on, right? Mathematics is a, a tool that he has at his disposal, right? It's a language that, he, that he's able to speak. It, it is something that he's able to use to get his ideas across, right? To create what he's trying to create. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you can think about it as formal mathematics or you can think about it as just basically um, a technique uh, that you can learn or you know, a, a concept that you understand. So what we're going to do is uh, go into Dirk's workshop and we're just going to, you know, be a fly on the wall and take a look at segments of um, the discussion that I had with Dirk or me and Dirk had uh, and take a look at some of the techniques that he ended up using or ha he has used. So what we'll do is uh, as soon as uh, we finish talking to Dirk, uh, we'll come back and do a quick little recap, okay? It's a simple composition. Uh, I first I divided this thing into into four parts: one, uh, two, three, four. Okay. And uh, this being the center. And the two focal points. Uh, and it is the center. That's the center of the of the canvas. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you do, yep. um, you know, like this, you know, up to here where that line ends, you know, where this line ends, you know, sort of you have to sort of adjust yep. it because it's off. You know, this is off, this is off, so we have to figure out, okay, where the absolute center is. The absolute center is right here. Okay, perfect. And the two focal points. Okay, here's a focal point right here, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, then all these lines, if you go like this, it's a perfect line. Right? Like this, like this, right there, like this, right? Perfect line, and the same thing from here. You know, the, the, they're all, you know, perfect. You know, to the focal point. You know, this is a focal point B. Yep. And the focal point A. Uh, so this one's strictly two focal points on the outside. Uh -huh, of yeah, the focal points on the outside. There's no, you know, it's, uh, there. Uh, there, uh, there isn't a, um, like a center focal point because uh, then uh, like everything would come, um, you know, this way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So how come? Uh, I, mean, I can do that too. Yeah. But. So how do you how do you set this line to be, you know, exactly symmetrical with the center of the line coming this way? How do you do that? Do you measure off the center? Yeah. And both lines connect at that point. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I wanted this, it was like you know, I mean, this one you know meets here, here, boom. And if you follow this line, that means there. Okay. Let me know that would be there. <laughs> this is okay. Like uh, one area, the second area, the third area, and the fourth area. Okay. okay. Then from uh, those four equal pieces, you know, sometimes I chose yeah, the center. You know, for one. Okay. The center between here and here is here. Oh. Okay. The center from here and here is exactly. here. So you bring your lines to there to meet. Uh -huh, yeah. Well, uh, well. Yeah. From here, you know, yeah, the, uh, that one goes there. Uh, the focal point from here to yeah. there. The other focal point from here 
and the two over here. And oh. then, and then, do you make cool. it symmetrical? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's symmetrical. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. I see yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, do you change up your colors at specific? It looks like sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. At specific intersections. Well, yeah, uh, you know, because I have to figure out, you know, what the space is. Okay, this is a room, for example. Here, this is a room. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like one. I mean, if you see this all, all disconnected, that's a room. Okay. That's a room. Oh yeah. yeah. Then. You know, we go into the next room, you know, which is over here. You know, that room goes from. <laughs> it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah, you know, I get lost. Like I, here, see, bum, I see. I see something bum, here, bum, and then it uh, disappears. Uh, there's another room, though. You know, you know, you know, beginning here behind the glass. Yeah. Here, here. Okay, that's uh, one like end, and here and here is the other end. And here's where it goes up, but it just oh, you know yeah, that's right. cool. it just coincides because you know uh, this here yeah. um, is like in front of you know the line that would be maybe you know yeah, this thin you know like in the back maybe I can paint it on there like in black oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know then you can see it more oh, okay. because everything's you know congruence the, the you know you know there's a logic here yeah yeah well there's good like mathematics congruency is huge. Oh, yeah. Like, are they congruent? Are they equal, basically? Mm -hmm. Are they are they proportional? Are they mm -hmm. well, proportional would be similar, but congruent, yeah, for sure. And it definitely has a symmetry to it, for sure. It's beautiful. So, just as a quick little recap, what Dirk ended up doing was basically cutting his grid, finding the center from there, subdividing his grid into four quadrants, right? And from there, he set up the focal points, and now he could change his perspective by kicking lines to different parts of the grid. So he, he was able to, just by laying out a simple grid and partitioning that grid and setting up two focal points, he was able to give serious depth to his paintings where from one side it appears as the painting is going away from you and from the other side the painting is coming towards you. The, the, the runes are coming towards you, right? The, the space is coming towards you, right? So he had his canvas, cut it vertically in half, cut it horizontally in half. Now he's got the center of the painting exactly where he wants it. He knows where it is, right? From there, he put out the focal points and also cut each one of these in half as well, right? Uh, by the way, those are supposed to be eyeballs. So he set up his focal points, boom, boom. And from here, um, he was, he, you know, he basically partitioned this thing even further. And sometimes he took the lines to the center. Sometimes he took them to, you know, the subdivide, the quarter divide, sometimes the eighth divide, the sixteenth divide, however way you want to look at it, right? And this is basically a scale system. After laying down the grid, he could start bringing his lines in. And he could also start coloring his painting, start bringing the oil in, right? Start giving it even more depth with color, as he explained. Everything that he created from there is based on the grid, his color scheme, uh, his lines going in, the walls he's creating, uh, the perception that he's getting. All of that was based on his original grid, right? which was really based on the canvas he chose to uh, begin his work. Okay. So creating a grid was an essential part of what he needed to do. Now this wasn't something, uh, you know, he, he went, oh yeah, I need mathematics for this. This was something that, a, a talent, a trait, a power that Dirk has. Now is it school mathematics, learn mathematics, uh, uh, intuitive mathematics? However way you want to look at it, this is mathematics. How did you create this? How did you do this? You, this is wood. You're, you're putting this on wood. Uh -huh. is That's this wood? an old uh, t-shirt that I used as a, uh, what's it called? As a, as a rag, right? You know, to wipe off my paints. Afterwards, I, you know, cut it so that, you know, so the t-shirt is open. I cut off the arms, you know, the neck and everything. And then I pasted it on the plywood. Oh, okay, okay. So this is t-shirt, it's cotton basically. You're no, it's that. cotton. Uh, that's imprimed, you know, with a with a transparent uh, primer. So 
Um, on top of this, I can paint oil. You know, you know the oil paint just you know sits on it. Sits okay. on it perfectly. Okay. okay. Um, and afterwards, it got more uh, more cool, you know, because I wiped the paints off of it, you know. So uh, so it was a clean rag, was washed, and it was you know there in the corner somewhere. Uh, so you must have done a lot of paintings wearing the T-shirt that you just made yeah. this on. Oh sure. You yeah. made a lot of art with this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Art. Uh, Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. When was that? This is in uh, the last is, how long? This is in the last, uh, I think, you know, five years. Five years. Uh, yeah. This, this, this paint here that I see, mm -hmm. that's from the original. Uh huh. That's from on the T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, that's all from the T-shirt. And then I just put these lines, uh, like on top of it, you know, to you know create space. So the the straight lines coming through that are painted are. Yeah, super cool. Uh -huh. super cool.